Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have lemon DIYs for you. I'm using mostly items from the Dollar Tree, maybe a little on some items from the Dollar General as well. But the first thing I want to make over is my coffee bar for summer. So the last theme I had from a couple months ago was bees on my coffee bar. It was super cute, but you guys know I love to recycle this sign. I got this sign at Goodwill and I've remade it on here maybe like 20 times. It has been through a lot, lots of coats of paint, but it's the perfect size for the top of my coffee bar. So that's what we're gonna decorate first. It's just a matter of getting everything off of it. Now, if you remember my last video, I used this removable wallpaper from Dollar Tree and cut out letters to try to give you an alternative for things that you could do without a Cricut. Now, it doesn't look too removable to me. I had to get it wet and use heat and scrape to get it off, but I was able to get it off, but removable, I don't know about that. <laughs> Now I did like a faux stain on this where I painted this sign um, ivory and then I distressed it with Antique Wax by Waverly to get like that wood grain. That's not what the direction I wanna go on this project. So I just kinda need to prepare the surface to paint this, but I need to mask that like dark Antique Wax by Waverly color. So we're just gonna go in here with some white acrylic and just paint our little three board palette sign. And it's gonna give us a blank canvas to start with to do lemons. I was thinking, I really liked my bee coffee bar and it, you know, it was great for spring, but I was kinda getting tired of it. So I wanted to switch it over to another theme for summer, but I didn't necessarily wanna do 4th of July because I would have to take it down fairly soon. But lemons, I can leave up all summer. So I thought lemons would be perfect. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of lemon DIYs for my coffee bar, but you could use them anywhere in your home. And I'm also gonna be doing a lemon tear tray today. So stick around, I've got lots of lemon DIYs for you and I really hope you enjoy today's video. So here's my blank canvas. Um, just painted it white with a couple coats and now I am using this color is from Walmart. It is Apple Barrel cloudless, very light blue color. I really love this color. And we're just gonna paint this all over. I want this to be a like lemon theme coffee bar sign. And so I'm gonna use a combination of some items from the Dollar Tree and my Cricut and some vinyl to um, just add vinyl to the sign. I think the vinyl was easier to get off the sign than the removable wallpaper. So might as well, right? You could always use, um, you know, those like sticker letters from the Dollar Tree and stuff like that if you want to kind of make your own um, stencils or anything like that. But I, I'm just going to go with that. And I did have to kind of like a couple areas of brown were showing through there. So just painted those white again and went over it with blue. Now, these are from the summer section at Dollar Tree right now. They are the, the fruit. And it's got like oranges, uh, watermelon, and lemons in there. The lemons actually have a lime on them too. And I really only want like lemons. So I'm just going to cut them off. Um, normally, I wouldn't cut the background off because it was blue. So it kind of matches. But since it was like... Um, I had to cut the lime off. It cut the, you know, border off too. So I kind of have to cut the border off all the way around. And I thought this would be really cute if I did two little lemons over on the left side of the sign. And then we could do some kind of saying over on the right. So these are like made out of cardstock. They're very durable and they're really easy to DIY with. And I'll show you how I attach these to the sign and how I kind of, I want them to kind of make them look like they're hand painted on there and not just, you know, paper cutouts from the Dollar Tree. So I start by using Mod Podge and do a layer on the back, just sticking that to my sign. It's okay that I'm going over the like, um, different boards because I will go back and cut that too 
but I'm going to do the same thing here on lemon number two. And um, I really enjoy lemon DIYs. I hope you do too. I think they're so fun for summer. They really scream summer for me and lemonade as well. So I am just using my razor blade and going in there and cutting it right between the two boards like that. Then I can go in with like a sanding block. Um, I always get these from the Dollar Tree and just kind of sand that, rough it up, kind of push it down in between the groove. The stem was kind of in the way there and then just scuff it up. See, I just distress it with the sanding block. Now I don't have to go back and distress it, but it has that nice like coastal farmhouse vibe. And the reason that I'm using blue on this is because I thought that would be really bright and fun for summer instead of a traditional like green and yellow color scheme for a lemon DIY. And it was inspired by a Dollar Tree fabric that you'll see here in a minute. Very summery, very fun. So I went to my Cricut, we cut out some vinyl. I will share my Cricut cutout files below. I think these are, I can't remember what the fonts were, but I'll share that below in the description as well. But basically I just cut it out with white vinyl, um, white matte vinyl that I got on Amazon. And I also get this paper transfer paper on Amazon. They're both available in my shop below if you are needing some. And then I am just going to reuse that same transfer sheet. I just wanted to show you that you can totally reuse these several times, actually. I'm going to line that up on my second board. And we're going to have it say, sunshine in a cup. Now, I thought that would be appropriate because it kind of reminds me of lemonade. But it could also be coffee, right? It was funny when I was trying to find like a saying to go on here for like a lemon coffee bar. Um, I guess it's like a trending thing on TikTok or something like that to do lemon, lemon coffee, which I don't know. Lemon's good in tea, but lemon coffee doesn't sound very good to me. What about you guys? So that's me using the same sheet to put my white vinyl on both. Then I like to go in and distress it. That's going to kind of make it look like it's hand painted. So I just distressed it with that same cloudless color that we used before. And then I'm going to go back and distress the whole sign with some white. Just to give me that, you know, coastal farmhouse vibe. I love that. And I never really like putting any words on the bottom line of my sign because it kind of gets blocked by whatever's on the shelf on my coffee bar that kind of sits in front of it. So I think that looks good. Sunshine in a cup, very summery. And this is how it looks hanging at the top of my coffee bar. And I have a DIY coffee bar. I have a video of how I did this. It's just a tiny wall in my kitchen um, with a light switch and everything. But I used like a thrift flip um, cabinet from Goodwill. And I just made my own coffee bar. You only have to have a little tiny bit of space. And then I did floating shelves to build the coffee bar. The next idea is just using some of these lemons from the Dollar Tree. Can you believe I have lemons now? I've been looking for these kind of things at Dollar Tree forever. It seems like only one of my Dollar Trees have them though. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of fruit. Apples, oranges, like lemons. So excited. Usually I have to buy these at Target. I think you can also get them fairly inexpensive on Amazon. But three little plastic fake lemons and a little lemon bowl from the Dollar Tree. And then for greenery, I thought we could use some of this beautiful lamb's ear, which is new greenery that I also got at Dollar Tree. Um, just to kind of make my like lemon tree leaves. I love that soft color of the lamb's ear. It looks great with my decor. So I'm just going to kind of use that kind of as filler in the little lemon bowl. And um, then just kind of arrange like the little plastic lemons from Dollar Tree right on top. I think three is plenty. It's just a matter of arranging it, get it like exactly how you want it. Um, I did add a little bit more greenery to mine, but I'm gonna just do that. Super easy DIY. This would be great for a tear tray as well. And I think I, I use a target lemons in my necks in my lemon tear tray DIY video and they're pretty equivalent these might be a little bit larger but this is how it turned out my little lemons and a Dollar Tree lemon bowl those are so cute I love their dishware they have right now with like the lemon the bees oh, so cute okay 
The next DIY is so easy. I found this cute little sign. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade sign from the Dollar Tree. The only thing I don't like about it is that bright silver shiny frame. Now, at first I was going to paint it, but then I thought, you know, I probably have a sign very similar size from the Dollar Tree, and I did with a white frame. So I'm just going to kind of trade it out if I can. Sometimes these frames from the Dollar Tree are where you can't take the backs off. I've found, unfortunately, this happens to be one that you can though. So I'm gonna pop out what was in there and then pop this out. It actually had glass, which I'm not really gonna re reuse, but the colors on this are perfect. They have like the blue color on there, right? And so I'm just gonna attach that to the existing back that was the right size for the other frame. I'll just need to trim it down a little bit for size. Now, I thought that the paper was kind of thick enough to just Mod Podge that over because like the image is kind of glued already on there. And so I am going to just Mod Podge on there, but I should have covered up that BU with white because I think you can kind of see it through. Um, but live and learn. <laughs> so I did a thin layer of Mod Podge and laid my When Life Gives You Lemons Make Lemonade on there. Now you could always just repaint the frame too if you wanted to do that, but I thought this actually might be faster and I think it was. So just Mod Podge that in there, pop that back into the frame. Try to make sure that um, I don't have any bubbles, it's all flat, it's gonna dry nicely. And then it has a hanger on it. I don't really need to have a hanger on it. So I was trying to decide if I was gonna leave it on there or take it off. And then I just decided, yeah, let's just take it off. So this was definitely a quick, easy DIY. I always like to check. Dollar Tree has some really good like B signs. This is a cute little lemon sign. You never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree, but I don't have to make my own sign now. And it is perfect, the colors that I want and everything. It's got like the light blue, the yellow, the white frame. And here is how it turned out. Our little sign for my coffee bar. This would be great for a lemon tear tray as well. Super cute and I love that saying as always. Now this is an unexpected item. I found a lemon bath sponge. You guys know when I go to Dollar Tree, I go down every aisle looking for ideas. And all I'm gonna do is cut the string off of this. Now you're thinking a sponge on a coffee bar, but actually once you get it up there, you would have no idea this is a sponge because like, the lemon part on the front is rather finished. It's not like spongy or anything like that. And the great thing about it is that it's lightweight, it's wide, so it will like sit on its side like that. And I think it's gonna be great for my coffee bar. So here's our little lemon sponge. You never know what you're gonna find in some of those other aisles. I tend to find stuff in like the bath and like home um, decor. Um, sections all the time that are very unexpected. <laughs> okay, the next DIY, check out this adorable tear tray that I found at Target Dollar Spot a couple of weeks ago. It was $5 and I saw this and I thought, this needs to be like a lemon stand or a lemonade stand or something like that. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. Instead of a lemonade stand, I wanna make mine into a lemon stand. Like we're selling lemons, cause I got a lemon theme going on. And I was trying to think of something that would make little small like crates for lemons from the Dollar Tree. And this is about as close as I could find. These little palette signs from Dollar Tree, two of them are gonna be a little wider than I need, but I think that's okay. We're gonna be able to make that work. Now I do need an opening though to put the lemons in there. So I'm just gonna pop the middle board off, I guess of the bottom on each one. And it's gonna you know, give us two little crate boxes on each side that we could fill in with lemons. Now when I popped that off, I did notice there were like little staple nails or whatever poking out a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna pull those out. I don't know why my pliers are so rusty. I find every single time I buy new tools, somebody like leaves them out in the rain, <laughs> which it's raining like every day constantly here in Florida right now. Ugh. Now I'm gonna glue the two pieces together with a little bit of hot glue like that to make one crate. And I thought that would be perfect for the top shelf like that. 
but I also want it to stand up in the back so that you can see the product, you know, kind of have it at an angle because the tear tray itself was kind of flat. So to do that, I thought we would just make little legs with those little tiny Jenga blocks from um, Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna glue a total of three of those to the back and just make three little legs that's gonna make it stand up in the back but be lower in the front. So kind of like a little ramp. But we're just gonna leave this the natural wood. I think that looks like, you know, wood crates that you would see like lemons displayed in. Just checking to make sure it's gonna fit. It's a little large, but it de definitely fits. Now for lemons, I picked up some of this Model Magic in yellow so we can DIY our own little lemons. You can get this at Dollar Tree, but it's kind of hit or miss for me. I have a little bit more luck finding this at Dollar General, and it's only a dollar there, so it's 25 cents cheaper too. Whenever I see it at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, I always try to pick these up in all different colors because look how easy it is to make stuff with them. To make the lemon, I just take a little tiny piece, roll it into a ball, and then pinch one end into like a slight point, right, to make little lemons, just like that. And I thought we would fill like all of the little bins up with lemons for our little lemon store. And then I thought, you know, I probably should hot glue them in. Um, that way it will all stay together. I would love to reuse this tear tray, so I don't want to make anything really permanent on that but this shelf can definitely have some permanent little lemons in there. The great thing about this Model Magic is so easy to mold, but then it dries hard. I've made like sea creatures. I've made all different kinds of stuff with this. I made a mermaid. It's really fun to work with. It's just kind of like Play-Doh when you're a kid, right? And I'm just gonna keep going. Might as well use the whole package since I opened it up of the yellow Model Magic. And so I just keep making lemons and gluing them in any of the openings. And then for like the bottom shelf of the tear tray, I thought we would just make a sign, like a sign that you would have um, displaying like lemons, how much they cost and stuff like that to fill it all up. And this is probably my favorite DIY today. It turned out so stinking cute. So there's our lemons ready for sale. And now I thought we would use this little wood palette sign for the sign on the front. I thought that would be really cute. It fits perfectly. But I wanted to decorate it a little bit to kind of make it go with our theme. So I'm going to use that same blue cloudless acrylic paint from Walmart um, on the front of it that we used for the coffee bar sign for the top to kind of tie it in together, bring more blue into it. I do have to kind of switch to a brush to kind of get in there to the back panels on that for my second coat. And then I am just going to use um, one of those little lemon pieces. These are from the summer section at Dollar Tree right now. You get like two lemons, um, two oranges, two watermelons, I think, in each package. And they're so cute. Look how perfect this is for a lemon DIY. And it's just the right size to go on the front of the sign. So I thought, you know, I might as well just use it to make a sign for the front of it. So I'm going to use my favorite white paint pen. And I'm just going to put lemons, kind of freehand it here on the top of my lemon. Then I was trying to decide how much should I make these. Then I was like, they're like 92 cents right now at my grocery store. I just looked. <laughs> but we're going to have a sale. Lemon's 50 cents. Everything's so expensive. Food. Stop it. Right? And I think that looks really cute. And how easy was that to make a sign? I'm going to hot glue that to the front of the little palette sign here. And that's really all it takes to make a little sign for the front of this tear tray. I love it. And I definitely could not pass that tear tray by. I'm like, I'm going to do something with that with lemons. I know I will. And I'm so glad that I picked it up. I think it looks really cute as is, but you know your girl's going to distress it, right? So I'm going to take just a little bit of white and just do a light distress over everything, the lemon and the blue part, just to kind of go with my vibe. Totally optional. And this is just the right size to fit on the front of the tear tray. I am going to have to use a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that it stays in place, though. There's like four like contact points 
between the shelves on the tear tray and my little sign. So I just do a dot of hot glue on all four of those, line that up and let that dry so that it will stay on there. And hopefully um, I can pop that off if I want to reuse this tear tray in the future because how cute is the tear tray? I love it. And here are our lemons. Slide that right in. And we have a little lemon market for my coffee bar and I'm in love with this. I can't wait for everybody to see this. It's so cute. And this is how it turned out. Isn't it adorable? Just using a $5 tear tray from Target and some items from the Dollar Tree. I love it. And the colors are kind of like a green and white on the awning, but I think it goes together nicely. Now, look at this beautiful ceramic pitcher I found at Dollar General for $6 the other day. And normally $6, I'd be like, eh, a little high, but look at the quality of this. It's really nice. It's like white ceramic pitcher. It's a nice size, got lemons all over it. It says squeeze the day. So I thought we could kind of make it look like a little lemon tree maybe um, with some uh, more of this lamb's ear from Dollar Tree and two of the little uh, faux lemons from Dollar Tree. I was a little bit way too excited about the lemons at Dollar, at Dollar Tree. They had carrots too, by the way. I noticed my store started getting them in about Easter and they still have them. Um, but again, only my store that is getting them is my store that had Shore Living the year before everybody else like in the country had it. So maybe it's a test product. Let me know if you in the comments below if you have seen the faux fruit at your Dollar Trees too because none of my other Dollar Trees have it. So I just use a couple pieces of foam from the Dollar Tree and put that lamb's ear down in it, kind of like a lemon tree. And then I thought, you know, I would find a way to attach these like two lemons to it. I thought maybe it might need to be a little bit fuller than the one piece of lamb's ear. I've noticed that the lamb's ear um, comes in a couple of different sizes. There are large ones, there are smaller ones. This is kind of one of the smaller ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more just because I wanted a little, this to be a little bit fuller, have a little bit more height. You could always just put like a, um, like a big wooden spoon or something sticking out of the top of it as well. But I thought we might as well make some kind of a lemon floral arrangement here for our coffee bar. So that looks a little bit fuller, right? Now, let me show you, it was a little tricky attaching these big lemons to it. So this is how I did it. I used some wire. From the hardware section at Dollar Tree, I cut a couple pieces off and then I strung that around this little plastic piece in the end. Now, I don't think I have video coverage, but <laughs> I did go back and kind of hot glue those little plastic pieces in because they kind of wanted to come out too, if you know what I mean. So, but this is how I initially got it started. I am just going to use that and wire that to the plant. I found that it was a little bit too heavy, um, you know, still for the lamb's ear and not just using the wire. So I do go back and use a little hot glue to kind of glue it to some of the leaves later. And I do the same thing on both of our little lemons here. And I think Dollar Tree does carry lemon sprigs too, but maybe on a smaller scale. Mine just had different kinds of fruit when I kind of looked for this. But I'll show you another option later in my lemon tear tray DIY of um, like the little lemon sprigs that you can also get from Target if you don't want to make your own. But I kind of wanted to see if I could kind of make my own here with supplies from the Dollar Tree. And it turned out fairly good, but it was a little challenging. Just add more hot glue, right? I got it to work and it seems to be staying together and it looks really cute on the top of my little lemon pitcher that I got at Dollar General. I saw this and I could not pass it by. I knew I had to do something for summer with this. Isn't it cute? I just love it. And it's the perfect height for my bottom shelf in my 
coffee bar. Now, the next DIY, I'm just going to take a jar sign from the Dollar Tree. This one's actually left over from Thanksgiving, but it can be any jar sign. They have these right now for like 4th of July. The reason I like this one from Thanksgiving is that it has burlap on the top. But you could always add your own burlap to it. Um, but I'm just going to leave that as is. And then this was my inspiration for the coffee bar today. I found this beautiful fabric at Dollar Tree. It's that beautiful like beachy blue color with like lemons and limes all over. So I definitely had to incorporate this into the coffee bar since it was my inspiration. And I thought we could just cover the front of this jar and then we could actually kind of make this into a jar of lemonade. Just a large sign for my coffee bar. Just something to kind of lean back against the wall. So I'm just going to lay it on the back of my fabric and just use like a yellow Sharpie, something not too distracting, um, to kind of draw the jar shape on there. And then we can just go in and cut that out. I think the fabric is um, going to look nice. We could mod podge that on the front of our lemon um, jar sign. And you know, I went to Dollar Tree today and they had a um, blue lemonade sign very similar to this um, but of course it's got like the glitter and stuff on, on stuff on that it, it looks like a jar of lemonade kind of like what we're going to make it look like so I think mine looks more high-end just because it doesn't have glitter and stuff on it but that would be really cute as well like I was like oh this would look perfect on my coffee bar but I've already made this one and I love this one too though so I kind of had to draw the top so I could kind of cut around where the top of the lid was because I want to leave that burlap on there. I think it's perfect. Now, I didn't want you to be able to see that glitter. You know how glitter is kind of raised on those Dollar Tree signs? And I had a scrap piece of this removable wallpaper. So I thought I would just use that to kind of cover that glitter and color to kind of mask that so it doesn't show through in my final product. So I'm just going to cut that wallpaper down to size and peel and stick that on there. I thought that would be faster than trying to paint it. And probably um, it works better to cover the raised glitter as well. So just a quick little Dollar Tree hack there. If you want to reuse a Dollar Tree sign, you want to kind of mask what was already on there. It actually worked really well. Just going to snip it down. And now we can add our fabric. This fabric didn't fray very bad, just a couple places. So I just trimmed off any loose strings. And then I'm going to do a thick layer of Mod Podge all over the front of my jar. And we can just attach that beautiful lemon fabric to the front. I love it. And it was a great inspiration piece. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to do a big project like this, like my coffee bar, I'm really looking for an idea and I saw this fabric and I was like, ah, oh, that's my idea. I want to do like blue summer lemons for fun. And um, I love lemonade for summer. So perfect theme. Now I did want it to look like a jar of lemonade, like with a handle, like a mason jar with lemonade. So I thought we could use one of these little burlap bags from the Dollar Tree. It's that same exact kind of synthetic burlap that's on the lid. And the great thing about this is that it's covered like in a plastic material that gives it a little bit of stiffness. It does not fray. And so I thought we can make a handle for our jar out of that. Kind of coordinate with that burlap lid on there. And so I'm just kind of kind of cutting it out how big I think it needs to be. And then I'm just going to cut a little handle out. It has just enough stiffness, I think, to kind of stick out from the side like that and kind of stand on its own. Just a little fun idea instead of just a jar of lemonade. We have like a little mug of lemonade. Like that. I'm not going to do a straw or anything like that since it does kind of have like a lid on it. But um, I think this turned out really cute and it was really simple to make. So I just hot glue that burlap to the back of our little jar. And it's ready to go. I thought about adding like a word to the front or something like that. But I kind of liked the simplicity of this with just that beautiful lemon fabric. I didn't really want to cover it up with anything. But the word summer or something on there would look really cute as well. Isn't it pretty? I love how this DIY turned out. And it was so easy to put together. The colors are just beautiful, right? 
So this is our giant glass of lemonade. It's going to be perfect on my bottom shelf. I have plenty of room for taller projects like that. Now the next DIY, I'm going to use a gift bag from the Dollar Tree. Look at this beautiful lemon and bee pattern. And I want the non-glitter side though, because I'm not really playing with the glitter. And then I thought we could cover a little um, cutting board sign from Dollar Tree. I picked that up there today. It's kind of a little um, cutting board size. I thought it would be perfect for our little um, coffee bar. And I like to use gift bags from the Dollar Tree, kind of like scrapbook paper. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to decide if I wanted the seam in it or if I wanted the yellow and white gingham. And I decided I kind of wanted the yellow and white gingham. So I am just going to put my little cutting board on the back of our gift bag using an ink pen to draw all around it. So I'll know exactly um, how big to cut this gift bag out. And then we can cover the little cutting board. Every time I DIY cutting board, I have somebody in the comments telling me, you know, you can't use that cutting board. Well, yeah, I know I can't use the cutting board. It is for decoration. You know, the existing cutting boards from the Dollar Tree like this are usually for decoration too. So don't worry, we're not using it. It's just for decor. And I always love having a cutting board for any kind of kitchen decor. I think it goes together and nicely. So just a matter of Mod Podging it to the front. The gift bag is nice and thick, so I don't think you're going to be able to see through it. And um, so I do a thin coat of Mod Podge and then lay that on top. It's nice and thick, kind of like cardstock, so you don't really have to worry about drying between coats. Once you get it on there, just smooth it out. I like to wipe mine off with a paper towel and use a scraper um, to kind of get the excess glue out. And then you can go directly over it with your second coat of Mod Podge on top without having to wait for the first coat to dry. Works really well. And then I need to cut out the little hole in the, like for the hanger here of the cutting board. I don't know if it's easier to do this before or after. <laughs> But I kind of poked a hole in there and then I was like, I think I'm going to have to kind of remove some of this paper. So I do that with a razor blade and then I kind of use like a marker and even like my finger to kind of like, you know, push around in there and kind of mold out that cutout shape. Trying to remove any of the excess material if I can. And if I didn't cut it down perfectly to size, a sanding block all around the edges works great to take off any of the excess uh, material and give us a perfect cut. Now I wanted to do like a little hanger here, even though I'm not really gonna use it, but I just use some twine and I just tie a knot on the top, kind of hanging that down um, onto the side like that. Always looks great on a cutting board, even if you're not gonna use it. And just trying to trim up that center part again. Now, I want this to stand on its own, but I also thought it'd be cute to give it little legs, like, you know, a little tray um, cutting board. And But I needed it to be on a small scale. So I'm using these little tiny wood blocks from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And we're going to put four legs on this. This is going to serve two purposes because I actually want to stand it on my coffee bar for display and those little blocks are just big enough to make it stand up on its own but it also looks like a little cutting board a tray with the little cute little feet on it like that and it really does stand up on its own just like this so here is our little cutting board made out of a gift bag from the dollar tree and i love that design i think it's so pretty and it's different from you know that fabric that we use so contrasting fa fabric and pattern now the next DIY, I found these little mini mason jars at Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And I thought, oh my goodness, these are so cute. I have to make these into little jars of lemonade. So that's what we're gonna do. They do have lids. I'm not gonna use those, but I'm gonna try to fill it up with some of this clear craft glue um, from Dollar Tree to see if we can kind of make it look like lemonade in there. So I'm gonna use, I have one bottle of the clear craft glue and then I'm going to use some food coloring. I always have some in my crafting stash, um, some Dollar Tree food coloring. I may have added a little too much. A little bit goes a long way on <laughs> the um, food coloring for sure, but I'm just trying to stir that to mix it up. 
Um, I thought it was a little yellow and I did want to thin it out. It was really thick. So I filled up the rest of the bottle with water. And so now I have like a watered down glue and I mix that all up, much easier to work with. Now these are little jars. I'm just gonna remove the lids. And then I found these great little flip-flop accessories. <laughs> kind of weird, right? They have these in all different like fruits at the Dollar Tree. And I knew I could do something with these little tiny lemons. And so I have two of them. They look like this. They have these little plastic pieces on the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull those off. And I thought we could put the lemons inside the little glass of lemonade. And I kind of want to put them along the front where you can see them. So I'm just going to do like a little temporary dot of hot glue on the front of each of them and press them into the front of my little lemonade jars before I fill it up with glue. So I'll know exactly where they're at and they'll still be visible. And I'm going to put my lid back on my yellow glue and then just fill these up. Now, I don't know if it's a Florida thing, but whenever I do clear glue DIYs, eventually like a hole kind of develops in the top and they kind of like hollow out. But where they're at on my coffee bar, even if they do that, you, you're not going to be able to see it. I've noted, I've heard other crafters say like similar things that happen and they were in Florida as well. So I don't know if that happens everywhere, but definitely happens here. So I'm just going to take a straw that I have, just a regular straw cut down two little pieces to make two little straws for our lemonade and put those down in there while it is still a liquid. And we have two precious little jars of lemonade. I think these turned out so cute and I love the size of these for like a tear tray or a coffee bar like this. On my tear tray in a minute, I'll show you how you can even make a little smaller miniature version of those as well. Now, I found this in the summer section at the Dollar Tree. It's a little lemon cup, and it's just a lemon plastic cup, but I thought we could do something cute with it, make it into a little vase maybe. So it's already yellow, so that's cool. But I wanted like the, the lemon print on there, right? So there's like indentations in this. So I'm just using white acrylic paint and a tiny paintbrush and just painting that lemon pattern back on, which is so easy because you're just going right into the indentations of your lemon. I'm just gonna do this on the front because that's the only side you're really gonna be able to see. And it does take a couple of coats to get that bright white color over the yellow. And I thought if I just kind of disguise the lid um, where it had the screw cap on there. This would make a really cute little lemon vase for my coffee bar. It is plastic though, so it is super shiny as you can see. So to kind of tone that down, I love to use matte Mod Podge to um, give that matte finish. So I'm gonna go over all of the exposed plastic parts on this with one coat of the matte Mod Podge, and it definitely takes away that plastic sheen, makes it look a little bit more high-end. I kind of want it to look like, you know, ceramic, and not like a plastic cup of my coffee bar. So I just do the front, the sides, the, even the back, anywhere that you might be able to see it, with a coat of that, and let it dry. And it totally did the trick. Now, um, for the top, I wanted to disguise it, so I'm just using some Dollar Tree twine and some hot glue to get us started here. And then I'm just gonna simply wrap that around all of the little screw um, indentations here and totally disguise that. It's also gonna act as a little decorative touch on the top of our new little lemon vase. And I get it pretty good and covered, hot glue it to the back and snip off my excess twine. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of that lamb's ear that we've been using today from Dollar Tree right in top to kind of go with our theme. I do want it to stay in place though, so I am gonna cut a little tiny piece of floral foam that will fit down inside that hole, but will give me some structure that I can kind of put my greenery down into. Just a matter of getting it small enough. And this was so easy to DIY. And it is the perfect for my little lemon coffee bar. 
Isn't it cute and sweet? You would never know that was like a plastic cut from Dollar Tree. So there is our lamb's ear. You guys know I'm obsessed with that. And I think I used almost all of it today. So I'm going to have to find more in my little linen vase. Super cute and fun. And it's a perfect size, I think, for the top shelf of my coffee bar. Now, I always like to do like a little pennant banner or garland on my coffee bar on both shelves. So I thought we would use these little lemon pieces that we used before for the sign. I had to buy two packages to get, you know, enough lemons because there's only two in a package. And I thought three would be plenty. Thought about cutting them in half and making little lemon wedges, but I decided just to leave them as is. I cut down some Dollar Tree twine about the same, um, a little bit longer than my shelf on my coffee bar. And then I'm simply going to attach it to the back of these lemons with hot glue. I'm going to go all the way across so I have maximum adhesion. So this will stay together. I hot glue that twine all the way across the back. And I'm not really going to measure, but I'm going to kind of try to do this by <laughs> um, sight, try to get this even. Somebody ran off with my measuring tape and I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I have three on there and then I thought it'd be cute to add a few leaves. And I'm gonna be using that lamb's ear that we've been using today. Just in adding a few leaves to the back of these, but only like the two on the sides, like every other. So I just cut the leaf down and then hot glue that on the back where it kind of peeks out from behind, like a large one and a small one I thought would be really cute. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for this pennant banner. Super easy. I attach this to my coffee bar with a little bit of hot glue on the sides and it seems to do really well. Now for the other shelf, I thought we would use this beautiful fabric that we used before. Kind of tie that back in and just make it a little tiny pennant banner. So I'm just gonna cut a piece out, kind of try to get a straight edge and cut like a rectangular piece down or I can cut little pennant banners out of it. So I cut my first triangle and then I just kind of use that as reference and turn it around, cut it the other direction and cut little triangles out of it. I always like to do odd numbers on my pennant banners. I did three for the other one, so I'll do five for this one. And I like to make the little mini pennant, pennant banners like this for my tear tray. So this is kind of a larger version for my coffee bar, but the fabric is so cute. Now my fifth one didn't have as much lemon on it as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna cut a sixth one. And now we have five little lemony pennants, and I'm just gonna simply attach that to twine from the Dollar Tree that I cut down to size. So I find the middle of my twine to get me started. And I told you, I like, I don't have any way to measure. <laughs> so I'm just going to use something random that I had on my work desk to kind of use as a spacer so I can kind of like line those up evenly, sort of evenly. And I'm just hot gluing them to the back so easy. You don't have to worry about sewing, anything like that. But you kind of need to work on your spacing a little bit because once you get it on there, it is not going to move around or anything like if you had it tied on or if there were like a seam. I tried to not sew at all. I don't know if it's because my mother was a seamstress and worked in a factory, but her, lo her love of sewing did not pass through to me. <laughs> so I have a total of five and I'm just gonna attach that to my other shelf of my coffee bar. Now the final touch is I have a little bar for four coffee mugs on my coffee bar and I found these great lemon coffee mugs at Dollar Tree. So I picked up four. They matched that bowl perfectly that we used with a bowl full of lemons and I think that's gonna look great on my coffee bar. So here it is, my coffee bar. Sunshine in a cup with all of the DIYs that we made today. I think everything came together really cute. What do you guys think about my lemon coffee bar? Gonna give you a little sneak peek here and then I will give you a better view in the final review at the end of the video. But we still have lots more of lemon DIYs coming up, so don't go anywhere.
But isn't it cute? I love the colors. I'm really glad I decided to use like those little pieces of blue in there. It goes with my coffee makers. And this is how it looks in my house. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video and tell you about my Facebook group. I have it linked in the description below. You'll find out when I post new videos and you get to see how creative all the other crafty beach bumps are. I love your all's ideas. You guys are awesome. I also have a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, and my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube. Okay, let's decorate a lemon tear tray now. I picked up one of these little wood crates from the Dollar Tree, and I thought using some popsicle sticks, we can make this into a little lemonade stand. So this is a version of a DIY one before we kind of had the um, Target Dollar Spot tear tray version. This is one that you can make from scratch. So I'm just gonna cut my popsicle sticks down. I was trying to be fancy in using my miter scissors, but you know what? Those do not work <laughs> for popsicle sticks. I was a newbie and I didn't know, but scissors work way better, especially like heavy duty scissors, like, you know, um, the KitchenAid ones, I always like to use those. But we're gonna get it to work here, <laughs> one way or another. I have found that it works great like those those uh, miter scissors work great like on dowels and things that are more 3D, but it's these flat items that not really working for. Scissors are definitely the way to go. So I cut down my three pieces. One is gonna be the top of my lemonade stand and the two shorter ones are gonna be like the side pieces. But first I wanna stain them. So I'm gonna go in with some antique wax by Waverly and stain my popsicle sticks. And I'm also gonna go in and stain that little wood crate. We're gonna kind of display that on its side where those front boards are gonna be like the front part of my lemonade stand. Super easy and you don't really have to do much building for this DIY, but it came together super cute. I love this little lemonade stand. Kind of going over all of the front and back anywhere we're gonna be able to see. Um, I'm gonna kind of sit it on its side like that. So that's gonna be like the top shelf where I sit things, but I was afraid you could see in, and so I decided to stain the inside with the Antique Wax by Waverly too, just to make it more of a finished product. I'm kind of staining all over. Now you gotta make sure that you dry your Antique Wax by Waverly before you handle it too much cause it will kind of wipe off on you. But now it's just a matter of assembling this. I noticed that you could kind of still see the sides, so I did stain the sides of my popsicle sticks as well. And then I'm gonna go in and attach one to each side here with hot glue, technically on the bottom of it, but it's gonna be the front of our lemonade stand. And then this piece is gonna be our sign for the front. Now I'm using Scrabble tiles from Dollar General, but now I buy these at Dollar Tree. You can get them each place. And I wanna spell out the word lemonade for the top of our little lemonade stand. I thought that'd be really cute. It's just a matter of finding all of the letters. And it fits on there just perfectly like it was made for it. So I'm just gonna go in there and glue down all of those little Scrabble letters to the top of our sign for our little lemonade stand. Isn't that cute and so easy? It's probably one of the easiest like stands that I've made. I've made like firework stands and different stand, um, stands like that. But this one was super easy. That wood crate is key, I think. I always tend to have like the little wood crates and like the little wood pallets and stuff like that from the Dollar Tree on hand in my stash all the time because you never know when you're gonna need one for a DIY. So one at a time, I glue down all of my little Scrabble letters to the top here. And now it's just a matter of attaching that to the top of my sign. So dot a hot glue on both sides, kind of line that up. And we have an adorable little lemonade stand. It just needs a little bit more decor, don't you think? I wanted to kind of to work on like a miniature scale in decorating this for my tear tray. So I'm gonna make a little miniature sign. I'm gonna use just one of those little wood dominoes from the Dollar Tree and just kind of cut it down to size. I was determined I was gonna use those miter scissors. I don't know why. 
This is, I think, I think this is the DIY where I learned that they don't work for flat items. Scissors. And just because I kind of wanted it to be square, but I did want like that just raw wood on the front of it to make a little DIY sign where we can put like the price of the lemonade and it's going to be like that lighter stain of wood, kind of like the Scrabble letters. I'm not going to stain it or anything. And I'm just going to use a, a black paint pen and just like put like 25 cents. We're going to have some cheap lemonade today. <laughs> and just kind of like a handmade little sign that you would see like on a real lemonade stand. And just attach that over on one side with a little bit of hot glue. Super cute. And then I'm going to use some of these little wood summer stickers from Dollar Tree. I love these. They're so cute. And I found one that is a lemon, but they are raw wood. So I do have to paint them. So I'm going to go in with some, I think this is bright yellow acrylic paint and just paint my little lemon while it's still kind of attached to my sticker paper there. Sometimes these little wood stickers from the Dollar Tree are pre-painted. Sometimes they're raw wood like this. I don't know which one I prefer more. <laughs> Maybe the pre-painted ones. But sometimes I like to do my own thing and stain them. And so I just use a white paint pen and go back over. You can see the little areas where you need to make the little rind areas of your lemon um, through the paint. And I just kind of draw that all back on with my white paint pen. We have a cute little wood lemon for our lemonade stand. So this is a smaller version of like the pre-made lemon that we used before on the lemon coffee bar. And I thought that'd be really cute just to attach that to the front of our lemonade stand. We've already got the word lemonade on there. We've already got like 25 cent sign on there. So I, I just attached the sticker and then I'm just going to distress the whole lemonade stand with a little bit of ivory to kind of make it look older. Wiping off the excess with a baby wipe. It's going to give me a nice distressed look. Make it look not so perfect. You guys know I love to distress everything because it kind of goes with the coastal farmhouse vibe in my home. But I got my little lemonade stand all made. Now we need to make some lemonade. So I told you I was going to show you how to make some smaller scale lemonades. And these are also from the Crafter Square. They're mini glass containers. And I got some really small ones for little glasses of lemonade. And I thought I could dye some of that clear glue. Um... I used yellow paint. I don't know why I did that. I should have used food color on, on this one because the food coloring I think did work better that you saw on our lemonade that we made on the coffee bar. But I guess yellow paint will work too if you don't have any food coloring. It was just kind of really yellow, right? So I just mixed that together with my clear glue. And we're gonna have a couple cups of lemonade. I thought we would just have these little clear glass jars and attach those in there. And I'm just kind of stirring the paint in with a little dowel, kind of like that. So I thought we would do like two jars of lemonade and like one larger jar for like the pitcher of lemonade, since we're working like on a little miniature scale. Just cleaning those little guys up and sitting those on our lemonade stand. I don't really have any like, um, lemons or anything like that that are small enough to go in there. But I'm going to do the same thing here for the larger jar, mixing some clear glue with some yellow paint to make some lemonade for the larger jar. And we can display that too. We can use that jar to fill up like the little lemonade jars. And I wanted it to look like a functional lemonade stand. So we have an empty jar that hasn't been filled yet, maybe a little jar of lemonade and then like a big jar of lemonade that we've mixed up. And then I'm using yellow model magic again. This one I got at the Dollar Tree. So same stuff and make some little yellow lemons, miniature lemons for our lemonade stand too. And now it's just a matter of kind of attaching everything together so it doesn't like all fall apart on my tear tray. So I just do that with a little dot of hot glue underneath my jars. Line them up like that. And then also glue down a couple lemons to make it look like, you know, maybe fresh squeezed lemonade. 
on my little lemonade stand. So cute. I love how this turned out. Let's do one more lemon right there. And I just glue those down so they stay in place. But the lemon shape is so easy to make and I love how that turned out. Okay, the next item for my kitchen tier tray is lemon salt and pepper shakers. I picked these up for $2 at Dollar General and they were so cute I could not pass them by. They always seem to have some really cute lemon stuff this time of year. And I thought this would be perfect since it is going to be in my kitchen. We'll do some little lemon salt and pepper shakers for it. How cute. I don't have to do anything to them, but I think they're adorable. The texture is really cute too, right? They look like real lemons. Okay, the next item for our coffee bar is, I'm gonna kind of DIY this little yellow cutting board sign that I got at Dollar General for a dollar. And it was already yellow and white. I don't need it to be a sign though, so I'm just gonna pull off the rope from the back. I just wanted a little um, rolling pin sign for my coffee bar. Now I wanted to add some lemons. And so this is actually a lemonade. Like it's got that, you know, same saying from our sign from the coffee bar. Um, placemat from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just showing you another way you can get lemons. You can cut lemons out from the little placemat. They also have some like reusable lemon bags from Dollar Tree right now that you can cut lemons out of too for your lemon DIYs. And this is that great like plasticky texture um, material. It's nice and thick and easy to work with. I decided just to cut the lemon out, kind of avoid the leaf part to make it a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna kind of attach that over on the side, kind of give this little rolling pin sign like a little lemon DIY. Then I decided I kind of wanted to do one on the other side as well. So I'm gonna cut out a smaller lemon for that side and attach it over here. But otherwise the colors of this little sign are perfect. And I thought this would look so cute since it is gonna be in my kitchen. Now the next item I found at Dollar Tree, it's just a little lemon, I guess like trinket tray, but it was so cute that I couldn't pass it by. So I thought this would be perfect to display on a tear tray cause it's nice and small and it's really pretty. The next DIY, I found this great glass lemon bottle, also from Dollar General for $2, it's a soda bottle. You could totally DIY any kind of clear glass bottle. You could recycle it, just adding a lemon to the front of it would be super easy to do. Um, but I actually just got this at Dollar General, so I thought we'd make some DIY lemonade just by filling it with water and then adding a little yellow food coloring. Super easy and <laughs> A perfect decoration for a lemonade tear tray. And it has a great little yellow plastic lid so I can just screw that back on and shake it up and we have a little bottle of lemonade. Quick and easy and you could kind of DIY that out of just about anything with a little yellow food coloring and water. I also found these at Dollar General. They are lemon measuring cups. And just like the salt and pepper shakers, I thought my kitchen needed these for sure. And look, they're like real little uh, measuring cups. It's so cute. I love decorating my kitchen tear tray with measuring cups because they're totally functional as well. Look how cute they are. And they kind of nest together like that. And so I think that is how I'm going to display them on my tear tray. They have a beautiful texture on them as well. Now I'm gonna fill a bowl of lemons on this DIY as well. These are the lemons that you get from Target. They are kind of pricey, I think. Um, but again, Dollar Tree didn't used to have them. And so that is why I bought them at, there, um, at Target. But they are um, maybe a little bit smaller, I think. And I just filled a Ray Dunn bowl that I had. You could totally use one of those bowls like we used earlier from Dollar Tree to display it as well. I always like to display little pillows on my tear trays as well. And I picked up this adorable little lemon pillow for $2 at Dollar General as well. I'm just going to cut the hanger off of it and the tags. And we have a cute little yellow lemon pillow for my tear tray. Kind of unexpected, but cute. 
Then I kind of wanted to do like, you know, like a lemon candy display, something that would be decorative and we could actually eat the candy, right? So I got this great little vase at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fill it up with some lemon head candy. Also from a Dollar Tree. They look like little lemons, right? So it's going to be decor, but being in the kitchen, we can actually eat them too. So that's really cool. I just got to fill them up all the way to the top and we have a little lemon head display. Now this is a Ray Nun piece that I already had. It's my little juicer, but I thought that'd be perfect for lemonade to display on my tear tray as well. So I'm gonna kind of just leave it as is. I love that thing. It's one of my favorite Ray Nun pieces. Now for the next DIY, I kind of wanted to do a bigger piece that I could sit next to my tear tray to decorate my kitchen counter. So I'm gonna use a little blue bucket from Dollar Tree and some of their round floral foam. And then this is the lemon stems that were from Target. And these were a little bit more expensive, but if you didn't wanna make your own like we did on the coffee bar, this is another option. I'm just going to cut them down and I'm filling up the floral foam with that. We're just gonna make a little floral lemon tree arrangement. Turned out really cute. And was easy to DIY, but again, these are kind of a little bit more high-end because they're already all put together like that, but super cute if you want like a little lemon tree on your counter in your kitchen. And then I'm just gonna cover up any of my exposed foam with some Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree just to kind of make that look a little bit more professional. And I'm just gonna sit that next to my tear tray in my kitchen for a fun little lemon tree. And then these are items from the Dollar Tree that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. The little pot holders, I'm gonna kind of hang those near my tear tray in my kitchen as well. Totally goes with the theme and that's kind of why I did the blue pot on the little lemon tree to kind of tie that all in together. They also have this great like um, hot plate with the same image on there. And they also had kitchen towels, lemon napkins, all from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna kind of put those in my kitchen. It's all gonna go with the theme. And I think it's so cute. Now, I think I got the kitchen towel actually at Dollar General, if I remember correctly. And then I always like to decorate my tear trays with ribbon and I found this great lemon ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna wrap that around the tears here on my tear tray using a little removable adhesive to kind of give my tear tray a nice lemon theme. And this is just gonna be like on the corner of my counter in my kitchen. And we're gonna decorate it for summer and make it look really cute all these lemon DIYs and finds. I found a lot of items for this project, you know, from Dollar General. So let's put it all together. Here's our little bowl of lemons. Kind of tuck that one back here. Super cute. You could always use real lemons too if you're gonna be going through them. Our lemon candy. Our little lemon pillow. I like to kind of put that up against the pole there. It's gonna kind of cover up that ugly pole. And our little measuring cups. I love those, they're so cute. Kind of display those down here. I wasn't sure exactly how to nest them, but I think I'm gonna kind of leave them as is. And then our little lemon rolling pin. I'm gonna use a little plate stand to kind of make that stand up right here in front. One of my friend's husband's 3D printed those for me, which was very kind. And then a little lemon dish from a Dollar Tree to fill out the bottom of our little lemon tear tray. For the top, we're gonna to do my little Ray Dunn juicer back here. Screw that on tight so that's not gonna fall apart on me. Then I kind of messed everything up, so just trying to rearrange. <laughs> and then we can finish decorating the top of this. That looks better. 
And then I have um, our little DIY lemonade that we made with a little bottle from Dollar General with a little lemon on it. And I picked up this little yellow candle at the Target Dollar Spot. I thought the color really went with the lemon theme. You could use any yellow candle and I'm sure you could find something from Dollar Tree as well. And our little DIY lemonade stand, which is kind of the star of the show. It's so cute right here on top where everybody can see it. And then our little lemon salt and pepper shakers can fit up here too. Adorable. And here is our little lemon pot holders. I'm going to kind of hang those. I have some hooks here behind it to kind of tie that in together with our lemonade theme. And also our little hot plate. We can sit that over here. And our little DIY lemon tree to finish it off. Hey guys, I wanted to let you know that I've introduced memberships here on my channel. For $4.99 a month, you're going to get early ad-free access to my videos and a few other perks. And it's an easy way for you to support me here at Crafty Beach and help keep these videos coming. I want to give a huge thank you to the following Crafty Beach Bum members. Thank you to Karen O'Haran, Coastal Couple, Pamela Bergeron, I Am Mojo Jojo, Mary Banks, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Stacy Gravett, Sandra Ray, and Carrie R. Thank you so much for supporting me. And now it's time for the final reveal. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment your favorite DIY or find below. Tell me which one you like better, the coffee bar or the tear tray. Or just come say hello and don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. So much for watching if you'd like to watch more crafty beach youtube thinks you might enjoy this video right here